This is a true crime in real time update from True Crime Today and the Hidden Killers podcast. It was a friendship that shaped an era, a bond that helped define the sound of a generation. Sean P. Diddy, Combs, and Christopher Wallace, known to the world as Notorious B.I.G., were more than just label boss and artist. They were brothers, confidants, collaborators. Together, they propelled Bad Boy Records to the top of the charts, turning the gritty tales of Brooklyn into platinum-selling anthems. Their partnership seemed unshakable, but in the decades since Biggie's untimely death, the man behind the music, P. Diddy, has found himself entangled in a series of troubling allegations that now threaten to unravel everything they built together. As of late, one voice has risen above the noise, cutting through the rumors and legal battles. It's the voice of a mother, a woman who has lived through unimaginable grief. Valetta Wallace, the mother of Notorious B.I.G., has been quiet for years, watching from the sidelines as the world continued to celebrate her son's legacy. But now, with Diddy facing multiple allegations of sexual misconduct and abuse, she's had enough. And she isn't holding back. I don't want to believe the things that I've heard, she said, her voice weary yet full of conviction. But I've seen the video. I pray that he apologizes to her. Valetta Wallace is not one to mince words. She is a mother who has spent over 25 years mourning her son, the greatest rapper of his generation, taken too soon, and now she finds herself torn between disbelief and fury as the man who once stood by Biggie's side, the man who mourned with her, faces serious allegations that are impossible to ignore. The video she's referring to is the now infamous footage of Diddy physically assaulting his former girlfriend, singer Cassie Ventura, in a Los Angeles hotel in 2016. In the video, Diddy can be seen shoving and kicking Cassie during what appears to be a violent altercation. This footage, which was made public in recent months, is part of a larger legal battle that Diddy now faces, one that includes multiple allegations of abuse and misconduct. Cassie, in particular, has accused Diddy of years of controlling behavior, physical violence, and sexual exploitation. Valetta Wallace's reaction to the footage is visceral, and her response to the mounting accusations against Diddy is clear. I hope that I see Sean one day, she said in an interview, and the only thing I want to do is slap the daylights out of him. You can quote me on that. For a woman who once shared a close bond with Diddy, this outburst is nothing short of remarkable, but it's also deeply personal. For years, Valetta watched as Diddy, continued to rise as his career flourished and as his empire grew, seemingly untouchable, despite whispers and rumors of questionable behavior. And now, in the wake of these new allegations, she feels not only disappointed, but ashamed. I liked him, she admitted. I didn't want to believe all the awful things, but I'm so ashamed and embarrassed. These words coming from the mother of Biggie Smalls land with particular weight. It's not just the public shame of seeing someone she once trusted embroiled in controversy. It's the personal betrayal she feels on behalf of her late son, and perhaps even on behalf of herself. The relationship between Diddy and Biggie was the stuff of legends. Two young men from New York rising through the ranks of the music industry, navigating fame and fortune together. Diddy was Biggie's mentor, his producer, his friend. Together they helped create some of the most iconic music of the 1990s. Their bond was so strong that when Biggie was tragically gunned down in Los Angeles in 1997, Diddy famously released the tribute song, I'll Be Missing You, a song that became an anthem for grief and loss, capturing the collective heartbreak over the death of one of hip-hop's brightest stars. But now... Decades later, as these new accusations against Diddy surface, the once glorious partnership has been cast in a darker light. Some, including those close to Biggie, have suggested that there were tensions simmering beneath the surface long before the allegations against Diddy came to light. According to reports, including an investigative piece published by Rolling Stone, 
Diddy allegedly harbored feelings of jealousy towards Biggie's friendship with fellow rapper Tupac Shocker. Kirk Burroughs, a former partner at Bad Boy Records, told Rolling Stone that Diddy was jealous of how close Biggie and Tupac had become in the years leading up to their deaths. Both rappers, who had once been friends, eventually found themselves on opposite sides of a bitter feud between East Coast and West Coast rap, an industry rivalry that would ultimately culminate in their murders. There was someone on the sidelines, jealous, Burroughs said, referring to Diddy. He claimed that Diddy's insecurity over Tupac's bond with Biggie may have contributed to some of the tension that eventually led to the breakdown of their relationships. While there is no evidence that Diddy was directly involved in the violent events that led to the deaths of Biggie or Tupac, the suggestion that jealousy played a role in the fractured friendships adds another layer of complexity to the narrative. For Valletta Wallace, this alleged jealousy is just one more reason to be disillusioned with Diddy. But it's the more recent accusations that have truly shattered her faith in the man she once considered a friend. And her anger isn't just reserved for Diddy himself. She's deeply concerned for the people directly affected by his alleged actions. I'm praying for Cassie, she said. I'm praying for his mother. He needs to apologize to his mother. It's a striking statement, one that speaks not just to her own sense of justice, but to the importance of accountability. For Valletta Wallace, the path forward is clear. Diddy needs to own up to his actions, both to the victims who have come forward and to the people closest to him. She hopes for an apology, a reckoning, not just for the sake of those hurt by Diddy, but for his own soul. The allegations against Diddy are serious and they span years. While the Cassie Ventura lawsuit is one of the most high-profile cases, it's not the only one. In fact, as of late 2023, Diddy has faced multiple lawsuits alleging sexual misconduct, abuse, and even sex trafficking. In one particularly disturbing case, Diddy was accused of sexually abusing a nine-year-old child, among other minors. These claims, which are part of an ongoing investigation, have only added to the mounting pressure on the music mogul. Diddy, for his part, has denied all of the allegations. In a public statement, he declared, Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. He went on to say, Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. And fight he will, as his legal battles are far from over. Diddy's properties in Los Angeles and Miami have been raided by Homeland Security as part of an ongoing investigation into sex trafficking allegations. Federal prosecutors are reportedly considering an indictment, and several of Diddy's accusers have been contacted by investigators to testify in front of a grand jury. Despite these developments, Diddy has tried to maintain his public image. But as more information comes to light, the pressure on him continues to grow. For Valletta Wallace, the weight of these allegations is impossible to ignore. She has watched from a distance as Diddy's career soared, but now she can't help but wonder if everything she believed about him was a lie. The connection between Diddy and Biggie, once seen as a brotherhood, now feels complicated. Diddy was instrumental in shaping Biggie's career, bringing his raw talent to the masses through Bad Boy Records. Together, they created some of the most iconic tracks of the 90s. Songs like Juicy, Big Papa, and Mo Money Mo Problems. Their success was meteoric, and their bond appeared unbreakable. And but according to some who were close to the pair, things weren't always what they seemed. Monique Bunn, a hip-hop photographer, told Rolling Stone that Tupac Shocker didn't respect Diddy, seeing him as a corny executive while viewing Biggie as a peer. This dynamic, combined with the growing rivalry between the East and West Coast rap scenes, created tensions that would ultimately have devastating consequences. Both Tupac and Biggie were killed in drive-by shootings within months of each other, and to this day, their murders remain unsolved. In the aftermath of Biggie's death, Diddy stepped into the spotlight, releasing his debut album, No Way Out, which featured the now-iconic tribute song, I'll Be Missing You. 
The song, a heartfelt homage to his fallen friend, became a massive hit, solidifying Diddy's status as a music mogul and cementing Biggie's legacy as the greatest rapper of all time. But now, as the allegations against Diddy pile up, some are questioning whether his rise to fame came at the expense of others. Kirk Burroughs told Rolling Stone that after Biggie's death, Diddy allegedly wanted to take the spotlight for himself. When Rolling Stone magazine approached him with plans to feature Biggie on the cover, Burroughs claimed that Diddy insisted on taking the spot instead, saying, He's dead. I'm putting out my album in July. I need to be on the cover. For those who knew Biggie, these stories are difficult to hear. And for Valletta Wallace, they only add to her sense of betrayal. She wants to believe that the man who mourned with her, who sang in tribute to her son, is better than what the allegations suggest. But as more victims come forward, her faith in Diddy continues to erode. As she reflects on the current situation, Valletta Wallace is clear about one thing. Diddy needs to take responsibility for his actions. She doesn't mince words when she says, I hope to God he sits her his mother down and spills his guts and apologizes to her. For Wallace, the idea of Diddy continuing on without accountability is simply unacceptable. In the coming months, Diddy will face his day in court. With several lawsuits pending and federal investigators circling, the future for one of hip-hop's most powerful figures remains uncertain. Will Diddy be able to defend himself against the growing list of accusations? Or will these allegations bring down the empire he spent decades building? Only time will tell. But for Valletta Wallace, the truth can't come soon enough. After everything she's been through, the loss of her son, the rise and fall of friendships, and the shock of betrayal, she's ready for answers. And perhaps, just perhaps, a long overdue apology. In a world where the darkest secrets lie just beneath the surface. Well, they said it was an accident, but the evidence says otherwise. Where hidden killers roam unnoticed in the shadows. Well, I think you would definitely be looking at a, a blend of toxic very bad narcissistic personality traits and they will be vengeful and possibly resort to violence join tony bruski as he uncovers the truth behind the most chilling cases they said it was an accident but the evidence clearly says otherwise each episode we dig deep into the minds of those who commit the unthinkable to your point on narcissism he thinks in his own mind how witty he is yeah but he lost that jury i i was i was done with him in two minutes from unsolved mysteries to infamous crimes geez you've just talked about how you've taught yourself how to do everything under the sun i bet you did a youtube video how to best kill somebody with a knife hidden killers with tony bruski takes you where few dare to go how does someone with such a dark secret go unnoticed for so long with multiple new episodes every single day we're not just telling stories we're seeking justice listen now on apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts just search for hidden killers with tony brewski